a lack of continuity. It was my first day as a continuity announcer on the BBC. It was my dream job. All I had to do was say things like, and now on BBC One, the news, read by Hugh Edwards. I could do that all day long. I was nervous, of course I was nervous. After all, my words were going out live to a nation. But I think it was more excitement than nerves. My first assignment was easy enough. Later on BBC One, we go to Scotland for Six Nations Rugby. But now it's time for FA Cup Match of the Day, Aston Villa versus Leicester. Here's Gary. Brilliant. A flawless link. I sounded like I'd been doing this for years. Now I looked at the next line I had to say. Do I have to use this script? I said to Jeff, the sound man. Yes, why? Oh, you know, I don't really like John Inverdale. He's a bit of a tosser. No one in Wales likes the host of BBC Rugby. He's smug, smarmy, pro-English. And did I mention smug? The guy was universally disliked. It's in his contract, Jeff told me. Anything he's in, you have to say his name. I rolled my eyes. That was just typical of the smug twat. It was time. I cleared my throat and took a deep breath. Now on BBC One, we join John Inverdale in Edinburgh for Scotland versus Wales. Again, I felt pleased as punch. My voice sounded crisp and clear. I was imagining the housewives at home wondering who this sexy new announcer was. It was only when I looked up and saw the look on Jeff's face did I realise there might be a problem. What's wrong, I said. Did you, did you forget to flick the transmit? I'd been told forgetting to turn the transmission on was the sound guy's biggest nightmare. No, he said. It went out okay but you're going to wish it didn't. At that moment, the door swung open and my boss poked his head round the door. My office, now, he barked. I stood up confused and followed him to his office. You're fired, he said as soon as I closed his door. My mouth fell open. We can't have people fooling around. This is the BBC, you know. John is one of our best presenters. He's a national treasure. So collect your stuff and leave. But, 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 but why? You know why. Now go before I call security. I scratched my head and stood there completely baffled while my now ex-boss picked up the phone and dialed security. By the time security had seen me out, I had 20 messages on my phone, most of them saying legend. I was still completely confused. Lou's message elaborated. Legend! Going viral already. There was a link to YouTube. I clicked. There was the BBC One ident. And there was my voice. Now on BBC One, we join John Invertwat in Edinburgh for Scotland versus Wales. <laughs>